I'm black history. Now, there was only one African American in the Georgia legislature at that time, Julian Bond. And they tried to throw him out because he said he was against the Vietnam War. And of course, none of the office holders in Georgia were African American. All the judges were white males. All the employees of the state court and the superior court clerks, all white. And it was at the tail end of segregation. And this is 1963. There were still signs on doors saying blacks only, whites only, in buses, restrooms, water fountains. It just stunned me. And so I decided that sooner or later, uh, I'd probably be getting involved in civil rights work. I met Dwight Thomas, he's a lawyer here in DeKalb County, and he'd rented office space for me, and in the process I met his dad, uh, Nesby Thomas, and he, he approached me and said he'd like to be a bailiff, and I said, well, I hadn't thought about it, I do have to hire a bailiff, okay, we'll do it. And I thought at that point, this might just start sending a message because he would be after the first African American employed in state court. And so the next day I was calling a calendar, and ironically, it was a criminal calendar, and 90% of the folks who were in that court were African American. And so I said, uh, I want to make an announcement. Uh, the Confederate flag used to be a flag of honor, but now it represents an attitude toward race. And as such, it should not be in a courtroom. Deputy Thomas, would you please remove the Confederate battle flag? And so he picked it up, walked across the front, just grabbed it, and that was it. The next day, headline on the Atlanta Journal, New DeKalb Judge Banishes Confederate Flag. That afternoon, I was coming back from lunch, and I ran into this African-American photographer. And he said, are you Judge Seeliger? And I said, well, yeah, I am. And he said, well, I just took a picture of your bailiff with the flag. Do you mind? And he said, no, that's OK. And as I was leaving, he turned and he called me back and he said, the Judge, thank you. I went to see the other judges in the state court. Now, I'm the junior judge. I'm the third judge. And I asked him, this county is 37% African American. And we got very few black employees. I got my, I have my bailiff here, but don't you think we should be hiring more African Americans? Jack looked at me and says, Chuck, you're right. We're going to do it. So I'm so pleased that Black History Month is coming about. There's a lot of history we haven't recorded yet. The bravery of the people during the 30s and 40s. And people like William Du Bois from Clark College, of course, Dr. King, and all the other people. And their stories are now being told, and it's an important story that should be told. Now I've been a judge for 36 years. And I think what happened in DeKalb County was going to happen eventually. Uh, that is to say that African Americans would be active participants in the government here. That was going to come. But I think the fact that I did the first hiring and then I removed the Confederate battle flag kind of sent a message that things were going to change in this county. And the African American community and the white community should get used to it. Because you're going to have to live together. You're going to have to govern together. You're going to have to participate in the Justice Center together. So let's do it. I'm Clarence Seeliger, and I'm Black History.